All right, let's do this one last time. My name is Jamie. I'm a VTuber that reviews headphones. One day I was watching YouTube when I was bit by a radioactive spider, which left me temporarily incapacitated and forced to sit through Raycon sponsor spots. One after the other, I saw my favorite creator shilling Raycon, the best true wireless earphones that only cost half the price of its competitors. Clearly, I knew what I had to do. When I was able to, I bought a pair myself to shill on my channel. Half the price of other premium options. I use them every day that they pay me. And then again later, I made another video. Now, when we look at the Raycons, oh boy. There's a lot to unpack with this. I thought all was good, but now Raycon redesigned and retuned their everyday earbuds. Well, of course, I had to buy the new version of the Raycon's everyday earbuds. I bought these myself because there's no way Raycon would sponsor an audio focus channel. So let's take a look at them and see if they got any better or if they're still bad value and live up to their meme reputation. Raycon earbuds don't have a good reputation in the audio community? No, not really. And it's not because audiophiles see Raycon as too cheap. Actually, it's because they're too expensive for what they offer. Cheap build, poor quality control, and really bad tuning and sound quality. There are wireless earphones for $25 that are tuned much better and also offer features like ANC and transparency mode. Well then, what changed with the new model? The new everyday earbuds still cost the same $80 before influencer discounts, but they have been redesigned. The case is flatter now, making it much more comfortable to fit in your pocket. The cover is also easier to grab, and when you open it, the hinge snaps into an open position, compared to the old model which just opens up more loosely and doesn't really lock open. The new earbuds have the same overall size as the old model, but it's redesigned to look a bit more sleeker and also ditches the button controls in favor of touch controls. As much as I'm not a fan of Raycon earbuds, one thing I will say is that they were super comfortable and small, and the new ones also feel very similar in ear. The plastic of the case and the earbuds also have a different texture and feel a bit better quality than the old ones. The new model has both ANC and awareness mode, which can be toggled by touching the right earbud. By touching the left earbud, you can cycle through three EQ modes. The biggest difference between the old and new model is the tuning. Don't worry, it's still a bassy mess. But at least this time they tried to address the complaints. The old model was tuned for as much bass and blow as possible, while also scooping out most of the upper mids only then to elevate some upper treble to achieve an illusion of a big spacious sound. But it ended up sounding muffled with just enough treble to make hi-hats and cymbals sibilant. The new model is still mainly bass focused, but it does try to roll off a bit sooner to help separate it from the rest of the response. The problem though is the upper mids and treble above 3k also got a massive boost. This also exaggerates the hold that's now in the lower mids and masks out a lot of the sound music in that area. That combined with the upper mids boost makes them sound harsh and not enjoyable to listen to. As I've said before, the region above 4k is somewhere that I tend to be sensitive to and the new model boosts that specific region. So for me, the only mode that is somewhat listenable is the bass preset, since at least that mode has enough bass to offset the upper mids boost. But the other tunings with less bass just make the earbuds sound really harsh and sibilant to me, and pretty much unlistenable. So in a way, I kind of actually prefer the old Raycons. While they were bad sounding, at least I could listen to them. I get what they were trying to do, and it is nice to see them respond a bit to constructive criticism to their tuning, but I don't see this as a big improvement. I played around with some EQ to fill in some of the mids and reduce some of the treble, and there is promise there if they rework their DSP, but this is still a case where I just can't recommend them. For better options that are cheaper, there are things like the Moondrop Space Travel at $25, or there's the Sound Pete's wireless earbuds that I reviewed, or even my next video about the Rose Technics Ear Free are an option that I would choose over these. Raycons are popular and they have a lot of sponsor spots, but if you really want something that offers premium sound at half the price, these aren't the best option.